Hey everybody, it's Tamika with Scrap the World and I am here with a Scrapbook Pal video. Today I am sharing with you two elegant cards using Spellbinders dies. These cards are really easy to put together, so let's get started with the materials list. So for the first card, we're going to use 5x7 Elegant Labels 4, Decorative Labels 8, Spellbinders Delights Victoria Corners, Avriel Stamp Set Floating Wishes, 3D Foam Squares, Quarter Inch Scrappy Tape, Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink, Tonic Studios Card Blank, and Simply White Nouveau Drops. So we're going to cut down a piece of cardstock to four by five and a quarter for the inside of our card. We're going to use the Victoria Corners by adding adhesive to the back of those as a decorative element for the inside panel. And then we're going to go ahead and attach that to the inside of our card blank using quarter inch scrappy tape. This helps the card to be more sturdy and it also makes it look a little bit more cleaner. There are four different dies in the decorative labels eight. I use die number three and die number two. That's um, the two center dies in that collection and I cut them out in some really nice ivory color um, elegant cardstock has a bit of a shimmer to it really really cute I just added a quarter inch scrappy tape to the back of that and laid that on top of my card base this is the second die that I cut from that decorative labels 8 I'm gonna pop that up with some 3d foam squares and to add a little bit of dimension this card is a bit of a monotone card that's what helps make it so elegant it's not a lot of loud colors but the paper is uh, has a nice sheen and then the edges of the dies make it look super fancy and elegant so I added some pop dots to the back of that card and I'm just gonna pop it up right in the center of the previous die now we're taking the centerpiece from the 5x7 Elegant Labels 4 and we're going to add the ribbon. It's like a, a ribbon slider so I'm just going to add a little bit of ribbon to the outside of those little slits. Uh, this is just ribbon from my stash and it coordinates with the card so I've decided to add that. And I'm going to attach it together using hot glue so that the seams are unseen from the naked eye. It's underneath and it still has that elegant feel. Next, we're going to add some adhesive to the back of that label by using the 3D foam squares. But because I have ribbon on the back of it, I want to make sure it stays secure. So I added a dot of hot glue along the back side before adding the foam dots. So it's a little trick to keep everything in place. Once I remove the backing, I'll add more hot glue and add it to the card. Now it's time to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm taking the Floating Wishes Avriel stamp set and I'm gonna use the word hello. This hello is a beautifully written script and I love how it is by itself and I didn't wanna cut it short but the hello ends are a little bit longer. So a trick if you don't want to cut your stamp down is to stamp it and then wipe off where you don't want the ink to be. So I'm using the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink and I've wiped off the edges. As you can see, the hello is a lot shorter and then I'm just going to add some fishtails to both ends and add that to the center of my label. The card is complete, but not before adding some beautiful Nouveau drops. Now I'm using the Nouveau crystal drops in Simply White, and I'm just going to add them to four corners of the card, and then one in the center, the top to bottom. And that completes this card. Really cute, really simple, and super elegant. The items for the next card are the card blanks by Tonic Studio, the crystal Nouveau drops in Ivory Seashell, the Spellbinders Cinch and Go 4, the Spellbinders Fancy Lattice, we're also going to use Laced Flowers, and Lawn Fundamentals Acetate. You will also need a rectangular nesting die. I will provide a substitute down below. You want to create a frame, so I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape to uh, put the frames together, nest it as perfectly as I can so that I can run them through the die cutting machine. And you want to cut this out about five or six times. 
So I have all my dies cut out, and I believe I cut them six times. Um, it depends on what kind of cardstock you're using, what heavyweight uh, or lightweight paper is how many times you want this to be cut out because you need to have uh, space for your shaker bits to go into. You need to create like a little well. So I cut mine out six times, and I'm just using some liquid glue to attach all these frames together one by one. You want to leave one frame out, out off to the side, which you see up there in the right-hand corner, and you want to keep one of the base, one of the negative spaces that the dies create when you cut them out. So once you have all of those stacked neatly together, put them off to the side and go ahead and cut out the fancy lattice die in whatever paper or cardstock you're going to use. And you want to go ahead and grab your piece of acetate. Now take the lattice die, add some spray adhesive to the back, and add it directly on top of the acetate. That will create a beautiful peekaboo window using that lattice die. Add some uh, wet glue to the back of the last remaining frame that you cut out earlier when you cut at the nesting dies and add that on top center of the lattice and acetate combination. Then take your scissors or your paper trimmer and cut off the SS around the rectangular to create a nice and neat card front. So go ahead and grab your card base, and I am using a smaller die than the card base, so I'm going to cut it down so I can add a quarter of an inch border around the entire card. So now we want to get our insert page together, and we're cutting down a sheet of paper to size, and we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. So I am going to use the Floating Wishes stamp set, and I'm going to select Wish Big, and I'm going to cut that in half. I want Wish on the inside, and then continue with Big on the inside. So I'm stamping big on the insert that's going to go on the card and then I'm going to take a pen, later I will use a marker, to add three dots before the word. So I'm going to go ahead and add this insert to my card base using some quarter inch scrappy tape. Now it's time for the super fun part. We're going to go ahead and add our nesting rectangular frame that we created earlier attaching it with some wet glue. Be careful not to let the wet glue ooze out and be careful when you're centering it on top of your card base. You want to kind of drop it and let it go. So we set aside one negative insert from the nesting dies and this is going to be the background of our card. What the sequence uh, sits on top of so you want to go ahead and add some tape to the back of that and fit it in there as snugly as you can you can use a bone folder to make sure that it gets right down to the bottom of the card so I am using actually the negative pieces from the fancy lattice die to start as my sequence my shaker mix and then I'm adding a little bit more uh, seed beads and some sequins from my stash and then I'm going to attach the card front I always test to make sure I have enough room for the sequence mix to move around. If not, cut another rectangle or two to make sure that it has the depth that it needs. If it fits fine, go ahead and add some wet glue around the perimeter of the rectangle and add it right on top of the card base. Be sure to not allow the sequence to touch the glue because you don't want that to stick to the front. Once you've got that safely secure, I do a little shake to make sure everything moves properly and it is so, so sweet, so soft and elegant. So now it's time to add some decorations to the front of the card using the Cinch Go, Cinch and Go 4 and the laced flowers and I cut out some flowers and some leaves using both of those dies. So I use the Floating Wishes stamp set and I just added Wish to some cardstock. And now I'm taking the flowers and I'm going to mold those. So I all I did was pinch the leaves together and push it down in the center. That's it. So when you take the edge of the petal, just kind of pinch it together like a little tight squeeze and put it in the palm of your hand and push the center down. It creates just a soft curve to all of the flowers. So I cut one large flower in the laced flowers and three small flowers. And I just mixed and match with some cardstock colors. I'm just going to layer two flowers together using hot glue. And then I'm going to pinch up the leaves. They already have a nice crease in them. These are from the Cinch and Go 4, and I'm just going to pinch them up. So I'm going to cut the wish down. I couldn't decide what color I wanted to use, whether the muted gray or the muted gold, but I'm going to go with the gray. I think it adds a nice little contrast to the existing colors that I have there. I'm going to pop that wish up with some 3D foam squares. 
And then I'm also going to fishtail, as you saw that earlier, and add it to the card. I'm also adding some foam dots to the back of the flowers and attach them to the card front. And I've attached the leaves together, uh, the individual leaf petals together to create this little flower arrangement using some hot glue. And I'm repeating that same process. So here I'm gonna show you how I attach those two leaves together. Add a dot of hot glue, attach them together at the end, and it creates a little, uh, a little set there. And then tuck it underneath the flower. So I'm gonna tuck that little wish sentiment in between those two flower layers. Again, those have foam dots on the bottom. And I'm gonna finish up with the ivory seashell nouveau drops right on the end there and also in the flower center and the card is complete I think it turned out absolutely beautiful and then this is the first card that we created so I hope you guys enjoyed those cards I will see you guys next time please check the links in the blog post for scrapbook pal and the links in the description box for a full written description of this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching